Welcome back. <laughs> it is time to play our weekly game called What's It Worth? We ask antiques expert Dr. Lori the value of three items chosen from the PTO mailbox. Dr. Lori, our bellies are full with chocolate mousse. It's snowing outside. It's the perfect day to play a game with you. That's right. That's right. I got to say, our segment's great. All your segments are great, but you two in the kitchen are fantastic all the time. Well, you know. Oh, thank so you. Fun. We love it, too. Yeah, food we makes get us to happy. Yes. <laughs> That's for sure. All uh, right, we have lots of great items to get to, and I'm intrigued by the, the, the theme this week. The first one is a china cabinet, and the picture was sent in by Mary. So tell us about that. Okay, now, what kind of wood is it, David? Oak. It's oak. Oak. Okay, oak. I love I love something cabinet, made of oak. It has applied ornament at the top. So that top portion is called a gallery, and the idea is that it's going to show off your collectibles. So they call it a gallery on the top. They put some applied ornaments, so they glue on those little scroll work details. Um, it's from about 1900, just about the turn of the century, and it's different from most because it has the wooden interior shelves, not glass interior shelves. Now, let me it ask stands you. just oh. over five feet tall. Oh, oh wow, it's big. Um, so let me ask you, Dr. Lori, because I've seen a lot on this minimalist lifestyle that millennials are leaning into. So something like this, yep. where it would display a bunch of collectibles, are we seeing a demand for something like this right now? That's a very smart question. And basically what we're seeing is I have a lot of 20 to 40 somethings who are big antique collectors and they don't want a lot of things that look like grandma's house, but they want that one statement piece that might look like grandma's house. So this might be that statement piece, but Got yes, it. you're absolutely right. That less is more. A lot of people are going minimal. Yeah. Yeah. I love the curved glass in this. It's really pretty. It reminds yeah. me of something we actually have <laughs> in, in our house that came from Gary's grandmother. Uh, okay. Shake, Kinda shake, tough. Right. shake. I, I, I'm, I'm going big. I just don't know. Okay, go ahead, Heather. Three seventy-five. Oh, I went sixteen hundred dollars. <gasps> it's worth seven hundred and fifty dollars. Oh, I went a little too big. That's okay. me. I got the point, right? Yes. <laughs> that's you, I think. But Heather. I think that's <sighs> encouraging. No, now I wonder what uh, the one we have would be worth. We're gonna have to send a five dollars, David. Uh, coffee no. table set in by Mary. <laughs> Just five dollars. Send a picture, David. You know what to do. Anyway, this piece came Ooh. from Mary, and it's an Asian carved native wood, um, brought back from the Vietnam War. She tells us. So it's from the 1970s, but it's all hand carved on the top, and then typically they'll put a piece of glass over the carvings, right. so you don't get all dust and junk and you know potato chip like you know mm -hmm, mess mm -hmm. inside. Mm -hmm. So basically, there's usually a piece of glass on the top. This is definitely um, an original piece, and it's a coffee table. So um, not as big, of course, as our last piece, but it is a statement piece as well that you would have a conversation piece for your living room. I'm just always impressed when I see white carpet. <laughs> we're not talking about the carpet. We're talking about the table. I know. I'm but you just, like, impress the people that can keep it clean. Yes, I just yeah. don't know how. I couldn't yeah. do that. I don't have white carpet. Especially <laughs> on a snowy day like today, like the panic that would set in. Yeah. Take your shoes off yeah. before you come in the house. And then you have kids and dogs and oh, stuff. You have gosh. house and dogs. What have a mess. Puppy. What a mess. All right. I just, I don't know. This impresses me, too. I want to go big. And clearly, I went too big the last time. So I pulled back a little bit. I said 625. I said 510. $300 is what it's worth. Oh. All right. Uh, this is going to mean Heather's going to win this week. Oh, all right. How about David's face? Did you all see David's face then? He was kind of like, oh, really? Really? No, right. I'm always happy. <laughs> try, to re Lori. try to redeem yourself here, David Highfield. All right. Okay. Last up Italian, is it. Yeah, go ahead. Tell us. Italian piece, Capamonte style. Um, it is hand painted and hand gilded. Ooh. It has, and Capodimonte style means it has these applied little sculptural flowers on the side. It's a ceramic powder dish with a cover and it's footed. It has little feet. From the 1960s, you would have put your face powder um, in this and you'd have it on your vanity table, your dressing table in your bedroom. All right, when you say it's gilded, is that real gold then? Yes. Yes. Okay. Mm. Mm. Oh boy! All right, I just uh, I'm just panicking. I don't know. I feel like I have to redeem myself here, and uh, I don't know. I said, oh, this is too high. I said two twenty-five, but it was really just because of the real gold. I said fifty-eight dollars. 
It's worth sixty-five dollars. Wow! It's only an itty bitty bit of gold. Okay, well, itty David, bitty little bit of gold. You made it on the board, so you I, you have that. Yeah, I did. I got close. You're I was, like the Steelers. <laughs> got on the board, didn't pull off the win. So. Ouch! All right, Dr. Lori, thank you so much. As always, we always have a blast with you. <laughs> Me too. Take care. The Steelers did great. What do you want? Sure. You know, they got very far. So far. I love your positivity. Yeah. I really do. We are very. I try. We bleed and black I don't have and white gold. rugs either. So you're positive when you don't have to clean up after stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Lori, thank you. We said we weren't going to talk about it. And there I, there I go. So, I know. See? Sorry. Thanks, everyone, for sending us your pictures. You can send yours to Dr. Lori. Just email us at pcl at kdka.com. Maybe yours will be chosen for a future episode with Dr. Lori. Okay, up next, a